Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins, where things have been happening, it's been really fun. <laughs> um, but I also wanted to say, I meant, I talked about Dragon Age Inquisition a while back, doing the, like, the third playthrough thing. I hopefully will put it in there somehow, but I just wanted to say, in case I don't, that it would be a really cut up, edited version. It wouldn't be like, let's wander the plains again for hours and hours. It would probably be much shorter because I would be cutting things up and only including the really important things or like funny dialogue things that happen in the, like just when you're wandering around. So, any changes I made, any big decisions I made, any funny conversations or cutscene things, those would all be included, but not the wandering time. So, hopefully I'll mention it. If not, here it is now. Yay. Okay, let's go talk to this guy. I saved your son. Hello again, friend. Oh, wait, no! It looks as though you know where for your wear after you're staying um, for drinking. Uh. 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 I thought this guy was the was the Lord or whatever. I guess I told I, just, I, I recognized his name, but I didn't. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. Do you know Duncan very well? We went through our joining together oh. more years ago than I like to remember. He was exactly the same back then, tough as stone and just as grizzled. I think he understood sooner than the rest of us how ugly a choice it is to let the few be sacrificed to protect the many. Always left himself a soft spot for his recruits, though. Only where he ever let himself down. Um, what do you mean, let himself down? I was hoping to learn more about the Grey Wardens. Well, I'd be happy to tell you what I know. But it seems to me that you've picked the important parts up yourself. Be firm in your beliefs, protect people from their own ignorance, and be as loyal as you can to your brothers, even knowing you'll share their deaths. Are you going to the fortress? Once only, and I'd rather not go again. Really? It's far, lass, and very foreign. The wardens there, they fight darkspawn like you and me. But they're shaped by the winters there in the forest. Huh. They're a cold group and don't care like they should about the rest of the world. Their king is weak, and many Anders look to the Wardens to rule. What? I hate to say this, but some of them seem to want it that way. Wow! Oh. Strange. Okay. Yeah, if they keep themselves so far removed, they're not going to be able to protect people like they should. Uh, why has it been so long since the last blight? Archdemons don't awaken on their own, you know. It takes the dark spawn, tunneling and tunneling, searching for centuries to find one. Dramatic. And with no Cut one to Cut. lead them, it must be sheer chance, or maybe instinct, which leads them. What's surprising isn't that it takes so long. Are you looking at guards. a bird or something? What's surprising is that they succeed at all. But I imagine the old gods call to them. And it's that voice in the darkness which drives them through so many generations. How many wardens are there? It's tough to say. Only the fortress in Weishaupt has every record. But there are certainly a few dozen or hundreds in every nation in Thedas. The Anderfels are home to over a thousand. It's almost like the Archdemon chose Ferelden deliberately, knowing how unguarded it is. Ah, I wonder if that's the case. Because we haven't had wardens in ages. And even then, like, yeah, there's, like, the Enderfells are really far away. Hmm. I didn't think about that. Like, the Grey Wardens just kind of are in, like, a, the mass majority of them are in the Enderfells. How were the wardens founded? It was near 1,200 years ago, and no one knows for sure. I thought it was a uh, Tevinter soldiers. Of soldiers. Apparently, they defected from their king's army, vowing that fighting the Blight was more important, and traveled all the way to Tevinter themselves. They were the first ones to track down the archdemon Dumat, and the ones to slay oh. him, although none survived the battle. But they had picked up followers by then, and it was they who formally oh. founded the Order, and were recognized by Thedas. I thought I, thought I read in the Fade in Inquisition that the uh the, t the it was a bunch of, it was Tevinter mages and soldiers who just were completely at a loss for what to do and this was the only thing they could think of the important thing to remember is none of that matters 
Oh. When you're facing Darkspawn, huh. all you need to know is to stop them at all costs. Yeah, I mean, I guess the politics of things, they don't matter when you're face to face with an archdemon, you know? I like that. Hello again, friend. Hi! You're, you're so nice, I like you. After you're staying for Draken. I hope you're nice. Uh, could you tell me about that vault? It's located just off the market district in the northern alley past the Nord Noble Tavern. Oh. I'll sketch out the code which will let you pass. Is it the in the lobby. warehouse? <gasps> Inside, you can take your pick of whatever equipment <gasps> remains. It is the stockpile the wardens have kept for centuries for the defense of. Oh, Denver. really? What are your plans now? When I'm well enough, I'm going to continue my journey toward Ostagar. Hopefully, I'll be able to trace the heart of the Blight and where the Archdemon itself abides. If we want to defeat this Archdemon, he's going we by need himself. To know where it is and how soon it might strike. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you're going alone. Shouldn't I go with you? If there were more of us, I would agree. But as it is, I don't think we can deprive all the armies you've gathered of a commander. I still don't feel like a commander, you know? Like, in a way, I just feel like a leader of a ragtag group of fighters, you know? Okay, we need to get going, I guess. Good luck to you, then. We will have okay. to talk again when the lands meet is more settled. All right, all right. I like him. His voice is soothing, too. Okay, Emin. Warden, let me know if there's any assistance I can give you. We have much to do and little time. Okay, bye bye. We need to do all that we can in the few days left to us before the. I land. need to go hit up Soldier's Peak again. Cause, cause I think I've basically maxed out my stuff. Again, actually, I should probably hit up camp. I haven't been here in a while. Something on your mind? Questions? Of course. Apparently no, we're not going to talk about the time we spent in prison. You jerk. You dingus. Uh, puppy, how you been? Hi, puppy, I love you. Oh, puppy, I should... Can I give people stuff from here? I can. Oh, okay then. Uh, puppy, I know I have something for you. Pew. Where is it? Oh, uh, it'd be armor, yes. I know you're a boy. But that's really good. Uh, move to junk, I guess. Don't need it. Oh, boy. This is gonna be fun to go through. Oh, maybe I should sell a whole bunch of stuff and go get that ring. Uh, I'm gonna toss the regular daggers. Also gonna toss the regulation sword. Also gonna toss the crossbow. Um, gonna toss some of those fire arrows. I'm gonna keep that clan shield because I don't know what the heck that's all about. I'm gonna toss that. Um, what exactly do I have so much of? Gloves of Guile, Storm Talons, that's really cool. Uh,. I mean, I guess, let's check out Alistair. What's he got on? He's got Kaelin's. And I and I upgraded that to Dragon Bones, so I really don't see it. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I'll look at the, uh... Heavy plate armor. Nope. It's the same thing, but... It just, I, uh huh. Let's see, Ogryn, can Ogryn wear it? Oh, he can. Oh, but, oh, but, oh. Uh, plus one armor. Do I have any more of the dwarven massive armor? Most of armor. So he can wear it now? 
And you can wear the gloves of the Legion, or is that... Or is there something glitching out on this? Okay, should I give him the Legion stuff, or... The Dwarven... Oh, um, armor of the Legion, plus three willpower, or plus one armor. Does will does he need willpower? Mm. I would like to give him the dwarven stuff. So, dwarven massive armored gloves. Dwarven massive armored boots. Uh. So I only have these in in red or whatever. Okay. What do you got on your head, rock knocker? Okay, he doesn't need a helmet so much. Plus two physical resistance. Plus 25. Oof. Wait, how did it compare? Oh, uh, toss that then. I think a lot of this I'm going to... Wait, don't I have that on? Alright, I thought I put that on. I guess not. Okay. Oh my gosh, my fatigue went way up, though. Dang it, I really liked that. Right? That's, yeah. Okay. Shoot, man. Jeez. Or, oh, I guess if I put on the... Superior Drake Skin gloves. Or the Superior Drake Skin... Armor. You know what I mean? Uh, Drake skin, Drake skin gloves, but I want those gloves. So I gotta get the boots on. Eh. No, it's still not good. Okay, I will put on the dragon skin stuff again. Dragon skin, dragon skin, dragon skin. Okay. I do look quite fetching in it. Oh my gosh, I'm almost level uh, 19? Dang. Dang. Uh. Nope. Okay. So... Uh, sell. I get. I'll sell that. And yeah, and uh, yeah. I don't, I don't really care. I'll keep those just because I made them. Demonic Icker, Frozen Lightning, Limestone Frost Rock. Okay. Oh, do they not take deep mushrooms? I need to start doing these. I guess I can sell the Drake scales now. Okay. Wish I could like put that on. That'd be fun. Okay. All right. Where is Anora then? Actually, and I, before I get too distracted. Anora. Oh, she's right next to me. Whoop. She does cut quite a queenly figure. Hello again, Warden. It is good that you came to speak Don't try to be suave with me, lady. I realize that my actions at Howe's estate may not have painted me in the best light. 
For that, I apologize and hope that we can start again. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one. I like one in blunt. I like honesty. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped. But once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. Mm. Hmm. I don't think I'm as important as you believe. No? You're a Grey Warden, and despite the fact that my father will paint himself as the only one who can protect the country from the Blight, it is not so. Secondly, you saved Arl Eamon from a plot that no doubt had its origins in Hal's sick little mind. People will not forget that. You are competent and powerful, yeah. and in the right place at the right time. I just asked to compliment me. Used to your advantage, these things could bring you far. Um... Are you proposing an alliance? That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? I Together hate we can do what alone we cannot. Too much involved in politics as a Grey Warden, though. Uh, why not simply marry Alistair? The best of both worlds. No. Uh, I think I would need more than just your support. Once I am queen, I will be in a position to grant you whatever you wish, and I shall. Alistair might promise you the same, I suppose. But I would ask which is better: the gratitude of a weak king. Or of a strong queen. And even if it is not for you, think of what I could do for the Grey Wardens. Think she of what could I lift could the do edict, but so people. could Alistair. I trust I have made my point. Um, you think you're a better candidate? Do you disagree? You are a fellow Grey Warden. Uh, okay, you. <laughs> what do you think of Alistair's My magic's making your face do weird things. Never mind his willingness. Um,. It's true, he probably isn't the best suited. Alistair seems like a kind, well-meaning man, and biddable enough. These are exactly, admirable qualities, biddable. if not kingly ones. He also seems to be a fine grey exactly. warden, which is exactly why he should remain one and serve the kingdom by defeating the Darkspawn. Just how do you know so much about him? Caelan knew of Alistair. It was Arl Eamon that kept Alistair out of the courts, as Merrick had desired. Oh, there are some who would follow Alistair out of respect for his Therian blood, the others would see this as Eamon grabbing for power. Who else do you think Alistair would turn to for help? Eventually, the nobility would return to the old days of constant warring with each other. Alistair's weakness would destroy everything Merrick built. I disagree with that assessment. You don't seem to like Alistair much. Is that... Is that affecting your, uh, your position here? She, she, she probably doesn't, because he's like this, doesn't want the thrones, and he, she's worked really hard for, and he's just gonna get it because of his blood, just because he was, happened to be born the bastard son of a king, and even despite all her proving that she can do this, that people are like, nah, you know? But I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask her, you don't seem to like him much. My feelings towards Alistair have nothing to do Kay. with it. I barely know him. I she could be lying, but... I am what this country needs. I will fight for what I believe. Would Alistair do the same? He would. What say you then? Your support for mine in the lands meet? You may underestimate him, but uh, what happens to Logan? He is my father, as well as a great general, who has served his nation he well He was a now. phenomenal general. If there is a way for him to live, I would prefer of it. Of course. Uh, if there is a way, I wouldn't oppose it. I am glad to hear it. In the end, it will be up to the landsmeet to decide. I, I think. don't hate Logan. Does that affect your thing. decision? Can we yet come to an arrangement? Um, make your case. Why should I support For you? For years, I have ruled this kingdom as Kaelin's queen. As much as they loved Kaelin, all of the Banon knew this to be so. Kaelin was a good man, but what is needed now is not another good man, hmm. but a good ruler. Good point. I sent Alina here not solely because I thought I needed help. But because I saw an opportunity for us both. What say you then? 
Your support for mine in the lands meet. Hmm. I agree. That is good to hear. So, we have a deal, Warden. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? Oh, I keep the game keeps saying, what about marrying Alistair? No, questions. Ask me whatever you like. Does it make you uncomfortable siding against of your father? Of course it does. Do you think me heartless? But how I'm much sure worse she's would in I a lot be of to pain. calmly stay at the side of a man who murdered my husband? Did you love Kaylin? It seems a strange word to describe a marriage our parents arranged when he was newly born and I still in swaddling clothes. But yes, I loved him. He was reckless, impetuous, and charming. Had he not been king, he would have made a dashing rogue for a band of players. <laughs> We were a good pairing. He would not have wanted the burden of ruling any more than I would have liked to remain the silent wife in my husband's shadow. Ah, there you go. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for your loss. It was more than just my own loss. But I thank you all the same. Why did Loghain leave Caelan to die, do you know? Caelan was so idealistic. The world was his story exactly. book and he was the hero. Uh, my father is different. He's an idealist too, but he knows what idealism costs. They often clashed, but never seriously, never for long. Caelan would always come round to father's way of thinking eventually. And then the blight came. Caelan dreamed of uniting all the nations of Thedas against the Darkspawn. It was a dream he wouldn't surrender. What my father saw, however, was the boy he had swaddled inviting Orlesian troops back into the land he had fought to free of them. And for once, my poor, foolish husband wouldn't back down. We should tell people what really happened to Caelan. They would not believe it, most of them. Even from my lips. Loghain is a hero they've looked up to their whole lives. Far easier to believe you or me a liar than him a murderer and tyrant. It's true. That's why it will be critical to find some way to discredit him before the lands meet. We must have proof of my father's is crimes for the band. Is something in the alienage will enough? Never believe us. Another question. Ask me whatever you like. What do you think? I'd like to understand Logan better if oh, possible. Well, he was once a farmer when he was a boy, if you can believe it. <laughs> I never could myself. He's useless with plants, <laughs> for one thing. I remember my mother once asking his help with a sick rose vine. My mother oversaw the rose gardens personally. He touched it. No more than that. And it shed half its leaves like a dog with mange. She never asked for him to help with her roses again. <laughs> he bought her another one, though. He carried it back from Denerem with the branches overflowing his saddlebag. Despite the thorns tearing him bloody, he wouldn't let anyone else take it. He wanted to be the one to present it to her. My father has his faults, Warden. But he is far from common. No. Is he truly beyond reason? I hope not. But I fear it is so, yes. Why doesn't he back down? Because he believes he is right, Warden. And that's all he it takes. He thinks he is the only one who can see Ferelden out of its current crisis, even if it is one he helped engineer. My father is capable of remarkable blindness, but it stems from his love of Ferelden. That is the saddest part of all, I think. I agree. Why would he have ever trusted Earl How? Trust would perhaps be putting it too strongly. You used him? My father knew what Howe was, and while I despised the man, I knew that father relied on his political mind. I expect my father thought himself above being influenced by the snake. Truly, I wonder how many of these acts stem from Howe and not my father at all. We may never know. Did he plan overthrowing Caelan before Ostagar? I'm not sure. I had no inkling of my father's plans until Caelan was already dead. I would like to think that my father planned for the worst, but did not truly decide that Caelan was a lost cause until that moment in Ostagar. The alternative is difficult to imagine. I'm sure. Another question. Ask me whatever you like. What do you think will happen for lands me? Do you want me to try my luck at yes, fortune go ahead. telling? Yes, go ahead. There was an old woman who read <laughs> palms in the village of Gwarren when I was a child. She told me that I would have ten children and be bald as a winter heath when I grew up. I can't say I put much faith in foretelling. What will happen depends much on you, Warden. But you certainly knew that already. Then I wish you luck, Warden. Was there anything else? You return. 
Is there something you wish to discuss? Do you need anything? I... No. And while I know your concern is hardly disinterested, still, thank you. You're welcome. Don't fall in love with me. We can't have another Empress of Orlais and a Briala thing going on. My lady, she will be forever you're welcome. You're welcome. Yo, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help. That's what I do. Okay. Um. So we have several dinner requests now. I really want to go to the freaking. Um. Well, what, uh, can I mark this one? Um. It's not showing up anywhere. Yeah, I can't do it yet? I don't know, I guess I'll go walk outside and see if things have changed. Maybe I gotta go to the alienage? Hey! Excuse me, the Lady Queen has summoned me to see to her unmentionable. What?! Uh, uh... Are you from Denerim? No, I'm from Redcliffe. Dang it! Lady I forgot! Eastern, I beg your pardon, sir. Shoot! I knew she was from Redcliffe. I am slightly suspicious of you. Last time she just disappeared. The queen's in the other room. Ah. I lost my chance to speak to her. Well, let's save after all that talk. Should have saved. Right after talking to her, I didn't think about it. Right after talking to, um... <sighs> Adora. Oh, uh, we did it. You know, I could get to like uh -huh. your wish. Uh, care to answer some questions? If they're dirty what? ones, certainly. Let's just move on. <laughs> you know, I could get uh -huh. your wish. Discuss something. Again? I'm game. Uh, never mind. I feel like if I'm gonna end it with Leliana somehow, gently, that I need to do it at camp? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I need to go to camp. Before I go to the alienage, probably. Yes. Yes. Oh, not puppy. Sorry, puppy. I'm sorry, puppy. Yes. You're such a good boy. <laughs> oh, you never inflict critical hits. A smudge's staff is a curious weapon. That's funny. I want to bring Sten. Actually, let me bring Sten. Let me bring Sten. Shoot, who am I? if I'm going to the alienage, I want to bring Wynn and Alistair and Zevran. And St no, I gotta bring Sten. I gotta bring Sten. Can't bring Alistair on this one. Dang. I'm just gonna go sell the stuff I put in my junk really quick. And then I'm gonna go to the alienage. I don't know how long it will Let's get started. Be You know what I, you know, like yes. I don't know if it's gonna be like a really long involved quest. Yes. But we'll see. Yeah, I mean you kinda think that um the blights like I was kind of under the impression that they happened on a cycle, but they don't. It's just whenever the dark spawn find an archdemon. Papa! Come on, win. Nope, not you. Dwarven craft. Find I guess I can craft. talk to you. Direct. Welcome back. Is there something else you'd like to look at? Every piece. Jug! Uh, oh, I can just... Okay. Wow! I made it quite a bit of space. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. 
Thank you, my good man. Whoa, what, what, what's wrong, Wynn? Did somebody have something? Um. Shoot, I kind of, oh, God. Uh, should we go to camp? Maybe we should go to camp and talk to people really quick? Oh. Ah. Uh, usually you don't say that unless I, like, initiate that with you. All men are the work of our maker. Um, from the lowest slaves to the highest. You have a name. Nope, no talking. Hey. Good day. Uh, maybe once I go to the alien, I can talk to her. I think I, I'm, I'm gonna run to camp really quick and just run through and see if anybody's got anything new to say. I think I can still go to camp, yeah. Like, despite everybody being... I kind of like that everyone's at the Arl's place, though. Puppy! Puppy! How you doing, puppy? I'm glad you're doing okay. Say, Red! I did not thank you. It occurs to me uh, now yes. that you have freed me from <laughs> the crows, and yet I did not think to thank you, you for did. it. You did! You gave me an earring! No matter why you did it, it, still, it was done. And I, the benefactor. So, thank you. Uh, it's about our time. We're your friends, Evran. I was glad to do it. You say that so quickly, and yet it is an odd thing for me to hear. In the crows, we do not have friends, and yet here you are, and... I cannot help but consider you such. I think if you is more than a foot, I don't know. Okay. I must admit yes! that I have thought of you in the same way. I simply had no idea you might feel uh, the same. How but very novel. What? Well, now that that moment's over with, shall we return to the road? <laughs> what? What? Oh, it's the nug, Lily. My dog just came in. I was wondering what that squeaking sound was. I am yours. Ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, don't talk to me like that. Uh, questions? If they're dirty ones, certainly. Okay, hang on. I am yours. Ah! Oh gosh. Oh, I hope nobody's coming in my room. Jeez. Again? I'm game. Uh, care to join no, me? No, I... Oh. No. I mean, no offense. I Let's simply, see! No. This is different. Uh, it's never been a problem before? Or is something wrong? I, I do not wish to talk about it. Uh, are you sure? You look like you do want to talk about Enough. it. Enough! I said I am not interested. Oh. Can you not understand that? Oh. There are other things for you to focus on besides ah. me, I am certain. D do those. Okay. I am yours. Yeah, okay, you say that, and then you say the other things. <laughs> what? I'm, I'm game. Um, you seem different now. Hmm, I thought that this might be it. Are you certain you wish to talk about this? I, uh, I really do not know what to say. What? Uh, yeah, uh... Do, do you want your earring back? Is that it? <laughs> I don't know. Um... I don't know, would that be better? Uh, uh, he's probably doing the whole, like, you have to worry about the blight and stop looking about me thing. Blah, 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 blah. Freaking heck, I hate it when elves do that. <laughs> um, uh, I think I'm going to try that one. No, I, I gave it to you. I want you to have it. Let me attempt to explain. An assassin must learn to forget about sentiment. It is dangerous. You take your pleasures where you can when life is good. To expect anything more would be reckless. I thought it was the same between us. Something to enjoy, a pleasant diversion, and little more. And yet... 
Uh, don't go there. Um, I know what you mean. I grew up amongst those who sold the illusion of love. And then I was trained to make my heart cold in favor of the kill. Everything I have been taught says what I feel is wrong. Oh, so he Yet is falling in love. I cannot help it. Since you asked me into your tent, I have been nothing but confused. <laughs> Do you understand me at all? Uh, I am no wiser than you in that area, Zevran. I do, and I feel the same way. Uh, I am no wiser than you in that area, Zevran. All I need to know is if there might be some future for us, some possibility. What? Really? Of, I do not know what. Whoa, really? Uh, I don't know, but I know how I feel about you. That, I think it would it would be unfair to give him too much hope simply because we are but then again what if we both die you know it's like you might as well um I don't know but I know how I feel about you then we need say no more that is all I wish to hear really I am sorry for acting so strangely I think I will be better now okay much better okay really okay <laughs> this is I hope I did that right. I am yours. Yeah. Uh, something personal? Again? I'm game. Uh, do you... Not dinner? Flowers, okay, woohoo! We're back to poison. normal! <laughs> you spoil me. You spoil me. <laughs> yes! Cute! That's so cute! I love it. Okay, any, any okay, I'm just checking. I am yours. Oh, with that music in the background. If they're dirty ones, dirty <laughs> Okay, that was interesting. That was really interesting. Cause I wasn't sure, but the whole like earring thing, I guess. He was I guess it I guess it had to happen after we had the encounter with the other assassin. Um But yeah, that was that was very interesting. Like you kinda saw like he was like getting all like nervous and weird and then he was like, not sure. I don't, I mean, it, it does. It kind of goes against his training, so I can see that. All right. Okay, we should probably save. We should probably save, because I might say something mean to Leliana without meaning to, but. Yeah. I need to know what's going yep. on between you. <laughs> you said what happened between you two was nothing, but it's gone further, hasn't it? I've seen the knowing glances he shoots at you. What's all that about? I don't know if I can trust you, if I can trust the things you've said to me. I'm sorry! What am I to you? Um... I care deeply for you. And Zevran? What's he to you? You're very special to me. Oh. But if you don't feel the same, please tell me now. Um... Oh no, I'm not gonna say that. I I don't feel the same. Um, it's been fun. No, I don't say. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. This would be cruel. So I'm gonna say you, I don't feel the same. I'm sorry. I. I I'm see. sorry. That's your choice then. I understand. He's Excuse grown me. in my heart a little bit. For a while. Yeah. Okay, only minus ten. Okay, good. Whoa. All right, so that's official then, right? So I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne. She has a nasty glare. <laughs> Did anyone mention this wasn't my idea? I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. Ha, <laughs> good. <laughs> I've agreed to support her in the lands meet. Or I'll say, you still don't want to be king? I'm not a political man. I like being a warden. There's yeah. real evil out there, and See, it's something this... we can fight. It's, it's something legit. we can defeat. I like Making this. laws, settling disputes, that's not me. I wouldn't have the first idea how to do it. I'm sure he'd be what a What do you think king. I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just let it happen? Just let it happen? The voice acting in this game is phenomenal. I've agreed to support Honora in the lands meet. Or should I say, you should do what you want to do. Hmm. I suppose I could always flip a coin. <laughs> Go 
got one handy. Yeah, yeah. It's just that everything I've heard about Queen and Nora is that she's the one who really ruled here, not Kaelin. She's smart, tough, determined. Well, I feel a bit like Kaelin's substitute. Yeah. I think I'll be better off against the Darkspawn. All right, Alistair, enough whining. Thank you, Alistair. That's excellent advice. I'll do my best. <laughs> I agree with Alistair. Don't you listen to him. <laughs> oh. oh, I don't know. Which which Alistair? I, I'll say, okay, I agree with Alistair. About the whining? I know, I know. <laughs> Someone really needs to slap that one around. <laughs> he disapproves of what? That was what? Something on your mind? Oh my gosh. Of Questions. Course. Oh shoot, hold up. Oh, now I gotta freaking reload because I didn't save after talking to Liliana, but. Ah, I, wanted to, I wanna tell him that I'm supporting, um, Anora. Gather your army. By the way, we got the achievement for, um, getting everybody. You know what I mean? Oh, wait, um,. Okay, actually, I will call this one here to keep it semi-short, and uh, I will do the talking with Leliana really quick, and try not to get her to hate me even more. Um, but this has been really fun. Lots of stuff's happening. I'm real. This is really fun. I'm enjoying it a lot. So uh, this is like the fun stuff. But uh, anyway, thanks you guys. I'll see you next one.